Good morning. Good morning. Uh, welcome to day 12 of the Spring Clearing Challenge. Uh, I hope day 12 finds you all happy and awake, probably a little bit more wide awake than me. Hi, wide awake. Although I have been awake since like six o'clock and, you know, I was up and I was ready and I'm like, I'm going to do this live, going to do it at seven o'clock, I'm going to be bang on time. Um, and then I went down a rabbit hole, basically, of, so one of my friends has a dog training business and he's brilliant. He's called Alex by the way he's uh um, and i was i wanted to share it and then i thought well what i need though is to find out all this information so i ended up down this rabbit hole and i was just busy texting my friend to find out more and i went oh it's gone past seven o'clock oops um and then i started to and then of course i had to fire my computer up properly and open up chrome and it was all like oh it's taken forever and now i've got a dog barking to come inside and i'm just like thank you dog because my husband's just gone to the dairy and he's left a dog outside <laughs> thank you for that ian anyway and actually but that brings me quite nicely actually to um, a bit of a topic about being organized because oh my goodness me i might have to go let the dog in give me a sec <laughs> come on right i am still here really sorry about that um anyway here i am back again uh, it was he'd left his own dog outside as well is it dolly dolly he had left Dolly out. Dolly outside. Hi, Dolly. Yeah, I go. She's like, now can I quickly go find a toy to play with? I love find a toy. Anyway, that's my brain squirreled. Bring it back, Rosie. Have a think about what you're going to say. Um, so I guess one of the things I really wanted to... The, the really good point, actually, that this slightly flustered morning brings me to is that I'm not a naturally organised person. My brain is all over the place. I have really poor executive function, which is the ability to plan and the ability to, you know, make these sort of decisions and things. And I sometimes feel, you know, if I can do this, if I, if, if my squirrel brain that goes in a hundred directions at once can do this, can live this organized, generally pretty chilled life, really, and it's all down to decluttering, then you can too. You can also do this, okay? So that's kind of where I was going with this this morning. Anyway, onto your job this morning. And remember, these are nice little small tasks. They're not meant to overwhelm you. They're just like little tasks to help you get your brain, not your brain, your home a little bit more in order. Today, the little task that's getting your home a little bit more in order is your tea towels. I'm stood right next to my tea towel drawer and I suddenly realised I actually haven't looked in it yet. So I hope it's... <laughs> that's, the, that's the problem, isn't it, with doing live videos. You're like, oh, I haven't actually checked my tea towel drawer. I hope it's okay. Right, uh, actually that's okay because I can see it is okay as I pull it out. Right, this is my tea towel drawer. Oops, everything's moving as I'm doing it. Um, I do, of course, have some pictures on the internet where it's a little bit tired than this, but you know what? And this is my tea towels. I don't have huge numbers of them. And once again, that's kind of the whole, the whole thing about this is that the fewer things you have, the easier it is to keep them tidy. And I say again and again and again, I'm not a minimalist. I have four children and five dogs and eight horses and, and a husband. Um, only one of those though. I'm really not about minimalism. I'm not about you can't have stuff in your house. I, I, I really appreciate minimalism is more than that. And I really don't like do it down. I just think I'm pointing out that I'm really not. Anyway. Um, so it is, but the, the fewer things you have, the really the easier it is to keep it tidy. Tea towels are one of those things. I often go into people's houses and they have these drawers overflowing with tea towels. And I'm like, but, but why do you need so many? How many do you actually use? And then that actually makes them think a bit more about it. I would say I probably don't use all of these on a weekly basis, um, but I have enough just in case I need to. Um, I have them folded, you can see, folded so I can see. So like a book, so I can see the spines of the books. A couple of hand towels here on the end. Um, up here, these are actually um, aprons. That's my apron, that's Ian's apron. That's Ian's funny apron that he wears, which is like it's a Scottish apron with a kilt. And, a, and then this is the um, bag. What sometimes is in here as well is muslins. We use, incredibly useful, aren't they, muslins? For those of you who've had children, uh, you know, you buy this pack of muslins and you're like, oh, that'll be useful for a child. And then what, 15 years later, you're still using the same muslins. <laughs> and we're using them, you know, to cover bread while it rises. Actually, that's generally what we use is to, is to cover food while it's sat on the side if necessary. Um, but, so, I want you to take your tea towels out of the, um, the drawer. I want you to see which ones you actually use, which ones can be let go. Um, if you are in, um, in Aberdeenshire at the moment, sorry, I'm just put my drawer back, I am still here. Um, if you're in Aberdeenshire at the moment um, and you're in the area, Inverurie Boxing Club are looking for rags to stuff their punch bags with, I think it's Inverurie. Um, Louise Somerville put it on the thing, so do feel free to go and find that if you're in the area. If you're not, sorry, you'll have to find another way to do it. But 
many charity shops will um, take rags so long as you make it obvious that they are rags, okay? Uh, that, I always do that if I'm taking a charity shop thing, I'll always bag the rags up separately. And I'll be like, this is a rag bag. Please don't even bother to look in it. This is full of rags. Um, in fact, what I do sometimes, I'll be like, this is a really good bag of stuff. This is the stuff you'll want to sell. This is the bag of stuff I'm not sure if you'll want to sell or not. You'll need to check this. This is rags, just get rid of it. Um, so, so long as you clearly label them up, most charity shops will take rags. And they're opening again, charity shops opening again. Um, and apparently people are a little bit concerned that they're going to be overwhelmed with um, stuff coming in. But at the same time, a lot of people have really missed shopping in charity shops. So I imagine they might have a lot of stuff coming in, but they're also gonna have a lot of um, you know, stuff going out. People are gonna be quite excited to be back in there. And why not? Because you can pick up some really good deals in charity shops. So, um, right, yeah, so get all your, um, get all your tea towels out, have a look through, declutter the ones that are no good anymore, keep the ones that spark joy, that make you smile, fold them neatly into the drawer so the nice spines up so you can see them, and job done. Have fun today, good luck.